It's been a week and we upload it again? It's like we filmed these, wait. <coughs> I forgot to change. Hello, my name is Tyler Specht and we haven't filmed four other videos tonight. Today we're doing Gaussian, bl Gaussian blur. It's pronounced Gaussian. Not Gaussian, like I have been saying for a very long time. Gaussian Blur. You go to your effects panel, search Gaussian Blur, drag that onto the clip you want to use, go to, up to your effects control panel up there, and it's got three different controls. It's super simple. The first one's going to be blurriness. So that one you can set to whatever number you want. Drag that up as much as you want, around 500 blurriness, percent blurriness? I don't know what it's measured in. Around 500 blurriness. You're gonna start getting like a color matte gradient almost. It looks not like a picture anymore. It doesn't look like a person if you had a person in there. It's just flat gradient. You can keyframe this as well so you can have it get really blurry. It's a very simple control. After that, we have three options under our blur direction. So it's like directional blur, hence the name, except it's a little more controlled. So you have three options. You have horizontal and vertical, and then you have horizontal and then you have vertical. So that does exactly what it says. Horizontal and vertical, it's coming together to kind of blur everything. And it looks like bl a blur rather than like a motion blur. And then horizontal, obviously, it's a horizontal blur across. And vertical, it's a vertical blur across. Then we have repeat edge pixels. Repeat edge pixels is what confused me the most when I first used this. You put your Gaussian blur on the clip. You turn your blurriness up. You do horizontal and vertical, and then you have a vignette around the edge of your video. And you're gonna be like, what, why do I have a vignette around the edge of my video? I did not put that vignette there. Who put that vignette there? It's because you don't have that check. So what that's doing is kind of just literally repeating the edge pixels to kind of blend it while it pulls everything in for the blur. Looks like you have a normal flat video. It's just blurred. Super easy, super, super easy effect. Like we always show you, there's a couple of cool things you can do with this effect. So the first one we're going to show you is not the only way you can do this, but you can blur someone's face with the Gaussian blur. You want to duplicate your layer and on the duplicated layer, draw a mask around the object that you want to blur out. So say it's a friend's face or a license plate you don't want to show in your video. You can blur them out and no one will know who they are. Just like I said, duplicate the layer on the secondary layer, draw that mask keyframe the mask to move with their face and then put the Gaussian blur on that, feather that with the feather effect, you're golden. Another use for this effect, which is my personal favorite, I use this all the time when I'm making videos, if you want to do an intro card for a video, you can take any video, doesn't matter if it looks good, it looks better if it's a slow motion video, so if you shot it at 60 frames, play it back at 23, it looks a lot better than if it's a real time video and not a lot of movement going on. You take that, put that down. Then you take your Gaussian blur, throw that on there, blur it, blur it, blur it. Set it to like 200 Gaussian blur. Repeat edges, then throw some text over that. And if you have any logos, throw those at the bottom. Now you have a nice looking intro card and it, it gives a lot more than just having text on a blank screen. It's one of my favorite ways to use it. It's super simple to do and it brings up that effect a lot more. Staring at this camera so much without my glasses. I, just, I really can't even see you anymore, man. Like I need to start wearing my glasses more often for these videos. It makes it so much easier to see.